Oh boy. <sighs> I'm not sure how to start this video, but I will certainly do my best. Hello there everyone. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well, or at the very least, surviving, breathing. So, my name is Kirsten and today's topic is something that's a slight bit different. Well, I mean, I take that back. It's not necessarily different, just I haven't touched on one of these little advice videos in a very long time. And so, I'm not gonna lie, I recently watched a YouTube video where one of my favorite YouTubers covered like breakups and all this kind of stuff. And so I felt somewhat inspired to be able to do this video and do my own little take on not just breakups, but also rejections and disappointments that you may or maybe struggling at the moment or currently in the past. Whatever case scenario is going on, I'm here to make this video to tell you guys that you are not alone and that I'm here to talk to you and support you on this matter. It's a very serious topic for today, so I figured I would go ahead and get started at the very least. So we're gonna do exactly that. So this video goes out to all of my friends, subscribers, supporters, viewers that are struggling at the very moment, one of these kind of situations. And so, especially with Valentine's Day coming up around the corner, I just personally want to say that you are not alone in this matter. Trust me when I say this. I have been there, done that more times than I could count. I've been through plenty of breakups and rejections in my lifetime that it's kind of ridiculous at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Also, quite a bit of disappointments that I've had with plenty of what's now called situation ships at this very moment. So yeah, that's always fun to deal with, especially in the dating world today, where I feel like not that many people are very genuine about like their feelings or like wanting to communicate properly on what they want or, you know, what's not working out and whatnot. It's a challenge. It's a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. I've also dealt with people that were completely dishonest, people that have played me. I have been rejected, ghosted, cheated on, and I've been stood up a few times. It's not a fun thing to go through, especially when you're dealing with somebody that is not who they claim to be. I'm sure that I could go on and on about like every relationship that I've been in that has gone south really fast, but in all honesty, I feel like, number one, that's a topic for maybe a completely different video if you guys are interested in having me cover, you know, that kind of topic about like every single relationship that I've had, but that's a whole completely different story. And some of these, I feel like I don't wanna go into too much graphic detail about that, to be honest. I'm just keeping that for like maybe another video if I can. Number two, it would also take this video a lot more longer than anticipated, so we're just not gonna dive into a lot of things. But the only thing I can say is that, you know, person on the other side of the screen, I know how hard it is to go through a really bad breakup and it feels like your heart is being torn in two, shattered into a million pieces. So I completely get that. It is a complete whole grieving process on its own. So especially if it's new and it's fresh, it's definitely important to go through this whole little grieving process and to let yourself feel whatever it is that you're feeling. If you're angry, if you're sad, if you're very teary-eyed, you know, 
Obviously you want to develop a grieving time for yourself and to completely heal from whatever the case scenario is for the breakup or whatever is going on at the moment. So I definitely feel your pain. It is definitely not fun. Just know that if somebody breaks up with you, rejected you or whatever case scenario, just realize that it is their loss but it will also be someone else's gain on the other hand. Just realize that certain things happen for a reason, whether it is a good reason or not. Sometimes you have to just analyze what exactly happened and sometimes that gives you closure rather than like trying to confront your partner or to just ask them questions about like why they didn't work out when they did. I would say taking a step back from a situation or a breakup, um, sometimes it gives you a fresh perspective on having a new pair of eyes, analyzing the situation on why it didn't work out. Again, I don't claim to know everything that has happened or what you guys have went through, but the only thing I can say is that is that just recognize that it is their loss. Sometimes when things don't work out, sometimes in most case scenarios, there's somebody else out there better in stores for you that is just waiting for you. But after the grieving process is over, at some point you're gonna have to move on and just focus on the things that genuinely make you happy, keep yourself busy and occupied, and just focus your time and energy on the things that really matter to you the most and just stick with it. Focus on your career, focus on your life, focus on the things that genuinely make you happy and gives you a reason to look forward to a brand new day. Now, I know all of this sounds like a complete cliche and that at this point, it probably sounds like it is easier said than done, but believe me, when you try to busy yourself and focus on your independence and your freedom and whatever makes you happy, and do keep in mind that you do not have to answer to anybody. You can just be yourself, focus on traveling and creating new hobbies, and, or better yet, you can pick up on old hobbies, you know, work out more, you know, whatever it is that you do to keep yourself occupied is when you won't have time to necessarily think about anything or anyone for that matter. Go hang out with your girlfriends, have a night on the town, try it in new restaurants, change your look, whatever it is you can do to occupy yourself. Now, I know it hurts right now, but there will be a time in your life where it will not hurt anymore and that the pain will subside, it will get better, especially as time goes on. I know it sounds like it seems like it's far out of reach at this point, but believe me when I say this, it will get better even if it doesn't feel like it at the very exact moment. Try to be in the perspective of feeling sorry, not so much for yourself, but definitely feel sorry for them because they may go through a phase in their life where, you know, they may not be able to find somebody as awesome as you. And just realize that they are missing out on the greatest thing that has ever happened to them in their life. And believe me, there will be a time where they might regret their decision and maybe they might come back or maybe they won't. But either way, just recognize that it is your loss and somebody else's gain. Now, if you're the person that broke up with this person, especially if you're at a point in your life where you can't picture a future with them, just know that it's only fair for you to break up with this person if you and this other person are not on the same level or the same exact page. And it's only fair for you to break it off when and also, it's not fair, necessarily fair for this other person. They feel completely different about you, you know? So, whatever the case scenario is, 
it will get better, even if it takes weeks, months, or even years, but hopefully not for too many years. Now also, it's important to recognize that it's better to be single and happy rather than like staying in a relationship that is unhappy, unhealthy, or a completely toxic relationship. That is another way to look at it. Just recognize your own self-worth. Know that if something doesn't work out, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is nothing wrong with you. And it really took a very long time for me to kind of figure this out. Usually when a relationship does not work out in my favor, sometimes I would give myself like this endless torture of like questioning like what went wrong. You know, if only like, you know, I should have done this or I should have said this, did that. And the more I think about my last situation where I genuinely thought that, I basically gave myself the advice and I was like, you know what, you could think of millions or billions of case scenarios where you wish, you know, if you could go back in time, you would change this or that. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter because if someone genuinely loves you, and they still want to be with you, then odds are, no matter how ugly the situation, they will be the one to stick by your side no matter what. And if they choose to leave you, obviously there was a reason for that. Also, this is another thing that I learned over time is that I will not settle for less than what I actually deserve. I know I have given the wrong people plenty of chances when they don't deserve it. I know that people are not necessarily perfect, and believe me, I do not claim to be a perfect saint myself, but if there's a point in your relationship where nothing changes and that it's still like the same exact continuing pattern, why would you want to be with someone that is continuing to do the same exact thing? That's something I got to learn over time with like past relationships is learning when to let go if something does not work out because it's only bringing you down even more and it's preventing you from finding true happiness in your own personal life. And in all honesty, I think it's also selfish for the other person's part to just leave and then come back because chances are they're the ones wasting your time and you should not have to waste your time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears into the person that is going to come back and do the same exact thing because those people are just not worth it in the end. And this was something I got to learn with experience and time. Just know your self-worth. Know that there's better out there and that there is someone for everyone. And I do genuinely believe that there is someone out there for everyone. Another thing that I also want to point out is stop stalking him. Do not check up on his social medias. Do not watch his stories because number one, you do not want him or her to give the satisfaction that you are still looking and that you care or whatever. So it's only going to destroy your mental health if you just check constantly, stalk, check up on their social media because in all honesty, it's just going to bring you down even more and it's going to destroy your mental health when you could spend more of your time and energy on the people that are willing to give you the the attention that you genuinely deserve. You should not have to beg for the attention, for the communication, for the love and the compromises and the respect that you deserve because chances are there's a reason like somebody is considered your ex for a reason. There was something in the relationship that was broken to begin with. So if someone is not willing to change for the better, then it is time to move on. Also, just get this person out of sight and out of mind because there's nothing worse than like stalking your ex constantly. 
it's only gonna drive you much more nuts and it's gonna destroy your mental well-being just checking up and seeing who he's talking to or following or liking other pictures. So if it makes you feel any better, just block him or her, especially cut off communication because if it's to the point where this communication is only getting worse, because it's only fair to cut ties with them completely if it is destroying your mental health. Take me as an example. I am still continuing to strive on my self-love journey. As a fully fledged, proud Gemini, I genuinely love my freedom and my independence and I value that shit the most. And the fact that you don't have anyone around to just ground you down and tell you what to do is just an amazing feeling. And plus, you know, when you're living your single life, it can honestly be the best thing that can happen to you. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. There are times where I find myself stopping and I genuinely think like, oh, if only I had this special person in my life to be able to do this or that, whatever it is I'm thinking about. And sometimes I genuinely get sad when I think I'm never going to find the right person in my life. But I always try to keep myself in mind that, you know, there's always someone out there for everyone. I know my self-worth enough to know that I can attract the right type of people one day and that I know myself well enough that I do deserve better. I know for a fact that I am a good person, both inside and out. I know that deep down inside, I am loyal, I am affectionate, I genuinely love someone with all my heart, my soul, and my well-being. I will attract the right person one day and that maybe one of these days I'll find the Titus to my Yuna or the Beast to my beauty. It's a never-ending journey of self-love and uh, learning to appreciate yourself more before you can learn to love somebody else because in all honesty, being single can be a good thing. I'm not gonna lie, it can be a really great thing. Now don't get me wrong, being in a relationship can be amazing too, but there's something about the single life that is just drama-free and you can be able to do whatever it is you want. You know, nobody is holding you back and that is the most awesome thing in the world. Believe me, there is nothing wrong with being single. And you know what? At this point of my life, I genuinely believe that I do need to be in this point of my life of being single and being on my self-love journey. If I find the right person in my life one day, great. And if I don't, that is completely okay because if that means I stay single for the rest of my life, it is not going to affect me like it used to. I mean, the pain of loneliness can be excruciating, but I eventually learned that, you know, being single is not a bad thing and that I recognize myself in many ways that people don't, that I'm a beautiful person inside and out. And you know what? If I could create like the opposite gender of myself into a clone, Hell, I would probably marry myself in a heartbeat if I could. Because honestly, if someone is not willing me to give me the love, respect, communication, and affection, and attention that I deserve, then this person is definitely not the right person in my life, and that I am one step closer to maybe finding the right person in my life one day. Whether it's with somebody else, or whether it's just just me by myself. I am constantly telling myself that I will be okay and that things will fall into place, like I said in the beginning. So yeah, I think that's all the things I can think of at the top of my head. At some points, I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point. So that's all the advice 
that I can give you guys on dealing with rejections, breakups, whatever the case scenario is, that I genuinely hope the best for you guys. And honestly, if I could just pop through the screen, like what Freddy Krueger did in one of those movies, and give you a big old hug, I wish I could. I am sending you all of my love, support, and I am genuinely giving you comfort that things are gonna be okay. You know, you'll find the right person one day, believe me, and things will get better even when it doesn't seem that way. I mean, <laughs> believe me, I have been there many of times where I genuinely think that things won't get better. I've count many times calling one of my grandmothers just bawling my eyes out or like going to my mother and just tearing my eyes out because I couldn't find the right person. Just know that things will get better. That I do promise you. So with all this random long chatter that I have just talked about dealing with rejections and breakups, thank you for listening and coming to my TED Talk. I know it genuinely means a lot to me that you guys got to listen to what I have to say. So comment down below. Let me know if you can relate to anything that I've said, any thoughts, feelings, anything along those lines. Do leave it in the comment section down below. Hopefully we can get something going. And like, subscribe, all that good shit. My social medias are down below, obviously, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to what I have to say. So have a completely beautiful day or night, and I will talk to you all soon in the next video. So until then, stay completely dark and so fucking brutal and awesome, my friends. Take care, goodbye for now, and I love you guys so much. So take care, goodbye.